Hey guys, how you doing? Steve, Rider 2 Brief. I wanted to give you an update on the tank. It's not doing too well. It's embarrassing, but I'm not embarrassed to post things going on in the aquarium when they're not doing so well. Uh, so, I have cyanobacteria outbreak. Look at that sand bed. It's got cyanobacteria all over it. This sand bed was totally fine, and then it just came on real strong over the last two weeks. The rock is a combination of cyanobacteria and coralline algae. It's hard to tell the difference, but um, I have not been overfeeding this tank at all. In fact, I feed like once a day, sometimes once every other day, because the fish get a lot of food. So water changes I have been neglecting, as you know, but I've been on top of it for the last two months. Apparently that wasn't good enough. It's on the sand bed. So I'm gonna scrape this out today with a net. And then what I'm going to do is, of course, keep on top of water changes, which is the best. But to give it a jump start, I'm going to use ChemiClean. Kills red cyanobacteria. This stuff will last forever. It doesn't take much. So I'll keep you updated on the process of that. As far as the fish, there's like not many fish left. I'll be introducing corals in a little while. But uh, the only fish that I have left, they died from old age. I have the fox face. I have the thin striped hermit, white striped hermit crab. He does an excellent job cleaning things up. I have my two original clownfish, Ocellaris clowns, and a bicolored blenny somewhere in here. There he is. You caught a quick glimpse of him, he's hiding. And that's all I have. My sailfin tang passed away, just kind of stopped eating. I had him for like seven years. I really still do miss my Fowlery tang, the blue one, but the tank looks mighty empty. So my plan is to get more clowns in here. I want to have mainly a clown tank with some anemones. And that's the deal. So just a quick short video to let you know what's going on. This is embarrassing to show you guys, but you know I'm not going to hide anything. It's my fault. And it just happens from time to time. So I'm going to dose this stuff. When you dose the ChemiClean, it's a really small scooper, really tiny scoop, like an eighth of a teaspoon scooper that comes in with this. I believe it's one tiny scoop for every 10 gallons. So... 120 gallon tank minus the rock and sand plus the two sumps below. I'll put 14 bitty scoops. It's a bitty scooper. Very tiny, tiny scooper. It's probably going to amount to one teaspoon. And you're going to want to turn off your protein skimmer. Um, actually, I'm sorry. You leave the protein skimmer on, but you let it overflow. Because when you're using the ChemiClean, you want as much oxygen in the tank as possible. So I'm going to just leave the protein skimmer on. Remove all carbon, which I don't use. Any media that absorbs chemicals you want to take out. So that's it for now. Hope your tanks are doing much better than mine, and I'm sure they are. But I'll keep you guys posted. All right, have a good weekend. Happy reefing. I will talk to you later.